Hey guys, the objectives of this video are to look at the Froude number and derive the specific energy equation. So first looking at the Froude number, in the previous video we defined the speed of a surface wave as c equal to square root gy. Surface waves expand from the initial point of disturbance in every direction. So the initial point of disturbance is just a center point here. So on the surface of a fluid you may have a rippling of surface waves like this here which is a bird's eye view of the fluid and the waves travel in every direction. Now if we, if we look at the relative speed of the wave considering the side of the rippling that has C in the same direction of V where V is the speed of the fluid beneath um, then we can see that the speed is always going to be positive. So this side is going to be C plus V. C and V are both positive so overall the relative speed is going to be positive. If we look at the side of the rippling that has C in the opposite direction of V, we run into some problems. Here the rel relative speed is going to be C minus V. So when V is greater than C, when V is greater than C, the wave speed is going to be negative, which means the motion of this part of the ripple is still going to be downstream. So essentially the fluid below is traveling at a greater speed than this ripple is going the other way which means the relative speed of that ripple is still going to be downstream. When V is less than C the wave speed is positive so C minus V is positive which means the wave will be moving upstream. Um, so this ripple is traveling at a greater speed than V. Now this doesn't apply to much you've learnt yet but this is the key of the specific energy curve which we'll come across soon. Uh, now we need to relate this information with the Froude number which we're going to which we, we defined in in a previous video as FR equals V on square root GY. Now in the previous video we learnt that C is equal to square root GY so really the Froude number is comparing the speed of the fluid below with the speed of the surface wave. Now from before we said if V is greater than C then the wave would not propagate upstream. In the Froude number equation if V is greater than C then FR is greater than 1. This is what we call a supercritical flow.